Hey guys, uh, David here, and this tutorial is brought to you by Hedaro.com. In this video, we're going to go over how to pull data from Yahoo Finance. In the past, there were a lot of people who were very interested in analyzing their stock data, and this is a little nifty um, tool that Pandas gives us to uh, pull actual stock data from from the internet. So let's begin. Let's import pandas. Import pandas, good. And the library that we're gonna import is called uh, pandas data data reader. Now note that the pandas data reader doesn't come by default when you install pandas in Anaconda. And if you try to run this, you might get a similar issue as you see here. You won't have it installed, so you have to open your command prompt, and you're gonna have to install it. Now, if you try to go conda install, and you type in the pandas data reader, it won't work. I'm not gonna run it because it takes a while, but it won't work for some reason. It doesn't come with the regular conda um, distribu distribution package, but we could just simply fall back to pip and when you run it it should just get it for you takes a few seconds and you're done so when you go back after you've installed it through pip if you rerun that cell you should be good now let's also import the matplotlib inline so we could do plots and normally I these three lines of code I usually put it under one cell but I separate it out just to show you that you might not have the pandas data reader reader already uh, installed so anyways now that we have the pandas data reader let's use it so they have this thing called data and in data they have a whole bunch of different data sets you could pull from I, I encourage you to go online and see what they are but the one we're going to look at today is called get data yahoo and one annoying thing is when you do shift tab usually in here below all this you'll it'll tell you what parameters it's looking for but it doesn't i'm pretty sure it did at some point but for some reason i'm not getting it so that makes it a little annoying but what goes in here is the first one you got to put your ticker name whatever the stock one is i don't know many but i tried ibm and it worked so and then the parameters that you, you pull afterwards um there's two called start and end so you could just pull the specific date range of stock data so we're going to start with um this date let's try the 27th of um, last month and we're gonna go up to today's date which is 2018 10 23 and we're gonna stick this in a um, in a variable called DF and when you run it you're gonna get a bunch of stock information from the 27th all the way to the <clears throat> 23rd down there and the good news is that this comes back as a pandas data frame which is wonderful because that's what we know how to use now let's do a quick dot info and take a look and i wanted to point out that the index of this data frame is a date time index and that's going to be very important coming up just to make you aware and you could tell here that the date column is a little lower than the other columns you could tell that this date column is the index of the data frame now let's do some plotting just to take a look at things so let's say we wanted to plot the close prices for this data frame and there you go now usually the plots I don't like the size of them 
so if you just add this parameter fig size and do you you give it that those numbers you'll get a much nicer plot now if you wanted to plot multiple columns together we could just do the close and open prices and see how that comes out um, run it and there you go you can see close versus open prices so that helps people do their analysis um, another cool thing you could do is you could slice your data even further by dates since we have our um, index as date when you do that loc which is a way to slice your data you could actually start choosing um, specific dates to just pick so let's pick the first all the way to let's say um, the fifth oops comma goes here so this left side is gonna be just picking a certain date range in the index and the right side is gonna be picking specific columns in the data frame and when you run this you'll see that you'll still get the open and close but you'll see that in the bottom of that we're only choosing uh, a date range from 10.1 to 10.5 another cool thing you could do is you could go df let's keep the close column and we're going to do percentage change on that column you'll get a percentage change in the column and obviously you could plot it and you know get a different view of how the data is doing there's something crazy happened on the 17th but um, and then one last thing I want to show you that's pretty cool is that you could actually since we have the date index you could actually filter by month so I only want everything on September and when you run this you'll see that it just pulls September or if you do for October you only pull October so that helps you slice and dice your data pretty cool so that's about it guys what I wanted to show you um, get your pandas data reader a lot of cool stuff in there if you like this video and if you want to get more pandas tutorials go to the description of this video and enroll in my pandas course see you next time